Plus, I'm here with David Bruno and Steve Rogers. Steve, what's your reaction to what you heard? What uh, perhaps surprised you the most in all of that? Well, I'll tell you, the uh, integrity and credibility of this department stands strong. They, they did a great job. But here's something I noted the sheriff said that's very, very important and probably answers the questions regarding the integrity of the investigation and the timeline. He said that he was giving information out to the public as soon as he received it, unverified. He, said, he did say that, unverified to calm the nerves of the public, and that was fine. So this is why there may have been some questions regarding the uh, timeline. The sheriff was doing the best he could, and his motive at that point, calm the public based on the information that he had. Mm -hmm. But in other words, Dave, this, this timeline is still in question right now. It's, it's not, it, we, we don't really have the answers that people want and need at this point. Yeah, well, it's changed multiple times, and let's just set this right. First, uh, Lombardo said that the security guard was shot at during the course of the shooting of the volley into the, into the concert. Mm -hmm. Then they took a step back and said, no, it wasn't during the course. It was six minutes prior. So that certainly brought up all of these questions and specifically what we talked about before about what MGM and Mandalay Bay did for those six minutes. And then yesterday we got a statement from MGM saying that they do not agree with the sheriff's timeline and that it was no more than 40 seconds. What we learned in this press conference is that the sheriff agrees with the MGM statement, that they in fact do. So what he explained was the security officer went up to the 32nd floor and there was a report of an open door. And that six minute mark does have some significance to the sheriff because what he said was it was at that time that he first noticed the barricaded door. And in previous press conferences, the sheriff described a drilling sound that the security officer noticed. But that's where he got the six minutes, and that's not when the shooting took place. Mm -hmm. So the security officer went, checked on the open door, and it was six minutes later that the, sheriff saw the, the security officer was shot at, and that was shortly uh, before the volley. So I think it was kind of clarified here uh, Sheriff Lombardo is in agreement with the MGM uh, statement. Another point that I'd like to make, this was a very different Sheriff Lombardo that we've previously seen in press conferences. In the past, he's been very confident. He's been outspoken. Uh, in the past, he's given theories about what he believes, specifically what's been getting a lot of press coverage is the fact that he believed that this individual was attempting to escape and he was really unleashed, so to speak, in these press conferences to give opinions, answer questions, and tell the public what he thought about the investigation. Mm -hmm. Today was a very different Sheriff Lombardo. He started his comments off of uh, paper. He said he was going to stick to his narrative so that things couldn't be changed, were his words. Mm -hmm. And he was very emotional throughout this. And yes, he ended with these heroic stories of these three Las Vegas Police uh, Department officers, which certainly are emotional, and we saw that from him. But even before we got to those stories, I saw a very different sheriff, his demeanor, and the way that he communicated information today.